This video will provide general guidelines to help you prepare for your total hip replacement. Always follow the specific instructions of your surgeon or therapist. Some patients go home from the hospital and some patients will go to a rehabilitation or skilled nursing facility. It's important that you plan to have these arrangements made and help available before you come to the hospital. After your surgery, you will be busy healing and learning to use your new joint. If your surgeon has talked to you about going to a rehab facility after surgery, contact your insurance company to see which facilities are in network and go visit some of them. Have a list of at least three possible choices to give the hospital social worker after surgery. You do not need to request pre-authorization with your insurance for a rehab facility prior to surgery. We will do this once you are admitted to the hospital. Line up someone to help you. Have a person or people scheduled to help you every day for at least the first week you're home. You will need to have someone stay with you all day the entire first day when you return home. Your helper should be prepared to help you with a ride home from the hospital, getting in and out of the car, preparing meals, getting into and out of bed, with laundry and light housekeeping, and getting to your follow-up appointments and physical therapy. If you are currently planning to go home, but do not have anyone to stay with you, consider staying with someone else for a week or two after surgery. If this is not possible, please think about going to a rehabilitation facility. Arrange to have someone collect your mail and take care of pets or loved ones, if necessary. There is equipment that can make your daily tasks easier, and whether you need these items depends on how much help is available to you. Everyone will need a walker or crutches after surgery. If you have your own or are planning to borrow one, please bring them to the hospital so a physical therapist can evaluate them and make sure they are sized appropriately for you. Every posterior approach total hip replacement patient will need an elevated toilet seat. Sitting on a low toilet seat violates your hip precautions. These seats are also useful if you are tall. You will want to have your extended toilet seat in place before you come home. It is best to make sure the one you get fits your unique toilet before you leave for the hospital. A reacher, long-handled shoehorn, long-handled sponge, and sock aid are all things you might consider as well if you are getting a posterior total hip replacement. Each of these items help you avoid bending over and violating your hip precautions. These items are needed if you don't have a helper to assist you with these tasks. Another item that is useful for safety is a handheld shower hose. This allows the nozzle to move around you instead of you moving and spinning around it. Most insurances will help you pay for your walker or crutches. Other medical equipment will be your responsibility. Be sure to check with your insurance company to see what is and isn't covered. Your surgeon recommends home DVT pumps following joint replacement. We recommend wearing this pump at home or at the extended care facility to help reduce your risk of a deep vein thrombosis or blood clot after surgery. The pump should be used for four to six weeks after your operation. You should wear the pumps anytime you are sitting, resting, or lying down. The DVT pumps are used in conjunction with your pharmacological agent that your surgeon prescribes. You will be contacted by the vendor one week prior to pre-admission testing to schedule an appointment to learn more about DVT pumps. The unit will be delivered to your home prior to surgery if you decide to purchase and or insurance coverage for the pump. You may leave these pumps at home, as we have pumps available for use while you're in the hospital. If you have not been contacted, please call 614-688-6367. Getting your home ready. Whether you go straight home or visit a facility first, it is important to have your home ready for your return before you go to the hospital. Have your bedroom on the first floor if possible. Consider a bedside commode if the bathroom is far away from the bedroom. After your surgery, it is important to avoid a fall. Make pathways in your home. Arrange furniture in a way that allows you to easily maneuver around the house with your walker or crutches. Remove throw rugs or loose items on the floor, like any long cords, computer, phone, lamps, etc. Get a night light to light a path to the bathroom. Arrange to have a home base, where you will primarily spend your time when you are out of bed. Put your phone, favorite electronic devices, snacks, water bottles, TV remotes, etc. within easy reach. Pick a sturdy, high back chair that you will use as your primary seating. Avoid chairs with wheels and chairs that have low seats. 
It is most important for the posterior total hips to sit in a higher chair, but it makes it easier for everyone to get up and down if it is from a taller surface. Keep in mind that you'll be using a walker or crutches for a few weeks, so it will be difficult for you to carry anything. A backpack or fanny pack works well for carrying small items like your phone, snacks, and drinks. If you have steps to enter your house, consider having at least one railing installed if it's not there already. If you have pets at home, be very cautious when walking as they get underfoot easily and can create tripping hazards. When you first come home, it's often best to put your pet in a room separate from your main area until you get settled in a chair. Having a source of cold helps reduce swelling and as well as discomfort. Ice in a bag or frozen peas work well. Some people find gel packs to be more convenient. It's a good idea to practice these before your surgery so you are familiar with them when you come to the hospital. You will do these exercises 10 times each, every hour after your surgery. It's important to wake up your leg and help prevent blood clots from forming. Ankle pumps. Move your foot up and down as if pushing down or letting up on a gas pedal in a car. Quad sets. Tighten your thigh muscles and push your knee down to the bed. Hold for five seconds and release. Gluteal sets. Squeeze your buttocks together. Hold for five seconds and release. Within 30 days of surgery, you will be scheduled by the surgeon's office for pre-admission testing. This appointment consists of a physical exam, blood work, and possibly a chest x-ray, electrocardiogram, or other testing to ensure you are healthy for surgery. Thank you for viewing this video. The better prepared you are for your joint replacement, the easier recovery will be.